council is an invitation to find our collective story. It's a way for us to listen to our shared values and create meaning. We've come to Salinas Valley State Prison, which is a level four maximum security prison with a pilot program to engage a group of inmates who felt the calling to become leaders, to actually learn how to facilitate council practice and ultimately carry the practice for other inmates on the prison yard. Council is a process of bringing people together and communicating deeply and clearly from the heart. And that is an unusual experience we're finding in mainstream society and in prison even less so. Very often in the setting, we find that people relate to one another based on their status, whether it's a correctional officer or a prisoner, whether it's as a white guy or a black guy. And council really helps to break all that down and foster what we think of as more authentic communication. I see it as a benefit all the way around. Inmates want to create a culture that benefits them and they can see the good in it. It's a benefit to the staff because that's one factor or many factors that will contribute to lessening recidivism. Many of these guys are getting out and those who aren't are impacting those who are getting out. If there's nothing to support a change in mentality, they're going to move back out into society and adopt the ways that got them in there in the first place. We need to do something to stop that from happening. In 1994, the Central African country of Rwanda experienced one of the most gruesome genocides the world had ever seen. In 100 days, nearly one million people were slaughtered. Twenty years later, tens of thousands of the perpetrators of the violence who have been sentenced and imprisoned are scheduled to be released back to the villages where the crimes were committed. This re-entry process is strikingly similar to the one unfolding in California, where the state has been ordered by the Supreme Court to return more than 30,000 prisoners to their home communities due to inhumane, overcrowded conditions in California's prisons. Like California, Rwanda's prison system is overburdened and rehabilitation services are stressed beyond their capacity. Like California, there is widespread fear and dread in local communities and a need for both personal and communal healing to accompany more effective rehabilitation supports for offenders and for their victims and for the neighborhoods where this reentry process will play out. Center for Counsel and Threshold Global Works have been invited to begin a process of training prison officials and inmates and the staff of local human service organizations in Rwanda to create council circles and to weave critical self-regulation skills. This program will bridge with services being developed by the Rwanda Correctional Service and Civil Society to support successful re-entry and reintegration of former prisoners. This program will demonstrate that transformation can occur in the hearts and minds of former adversaries and that real healing is possible. Our intent is to spur a more compassionate and restorative system of justice that supports rehabilitation for the world's incarcerated offenders. Our goal is to promote practices that will help both offenders and their victims, individuals and communities, to heal. This work is incredibly powerful. Everybody who's touched by it is moved because it's unearthing this part of us that we don't access in any kind of regular way. It is important to uh, really examine ourselves, especially if we're going back out there because it's going to be a real culture shock to many. And if a uh, guy hasn't practiced or disciplined it himself, all of this will be for nothing. All of it. This is the last shot. Those who move from this prison out into the world will have tools and will become part of a system that is supporting 
reintegration on the outside. We have a network of community-based organizations and faith-based organizations that are holding this practice and receiving these men who've paid their debt and are moving back into society. If you can impact a, a level four maximum security prison, you have no excuse. You can impact a, a city or a county, or if you want to go on a macro level, uh, you know, a world. I'm fortunate enough to be able to go home and I've been fortunate enough to meet some good people. And I'm gonna take these, uh, these teachings and these stories back home with me. When you allow yourself to be moved by somebody's story, even when you leave council, even when you step out of the room and onto the yard, you can't pass by that human being in the same way again. They're not your enemy anymore because your heart has opened and you feel empathy towards them. And to be able to carry that back into society creates a continuum of care that allows us to really support the reintegration of these prisoners in a good way. We believe the model being piloted in both California and Rwanda is applicable to fractured communities around the world, and we need your help. Your gift enables us to move this program forward this fall.